Hey guys, it's Javad. It's a Saturday in March. I think it's March 15th or 16th or something like that. And uh, I'm here in my listening slash speaker designing crossover room. And uh, I like to call this shot amongst the speakers. As you can see, I have a lot of speakers in my listening room. I didn't set this shot up. I just sat down in this corner uh, where we have a uh, a Rivalries, some Ceramicos, an Enthralls, and the recently finished Gintani uh, hanging out with me here. So uh, I wanted to do a quick demo today uh, on OmniMic. This is a feature that I really like about OmniMic. I don't know if it's an actual feature, but it's a great way to use it. And um, I don't think you can do this that easily in REW. I'm not an REW expert, even though I'm, I, I use it and I'm familiar with it. But uh, I really like the way OmniMic works with uh, the continuous sign, sign sweeps that it does. And um, this, this uh, feature basically allows you to, to swap out components in the circuit in real time and see uh, the measurement change right on the screen in front of you. And um, I like to consider this as like real time modeling, real life modeling. And I can swap these parts out. Uh, just like I would in XSIM or PCD. Um, and instead of looking at a model, I'm looking at the actual speaker response. And so typically once I get to a certain point in modeling where I, where I feel like I've got the basic circuit outlined, then um, I'll move to this kind of real world modeling. And um, and so if, if I have a 2.0 inductor in the circuit, um, I can swap a 1.8 or a 2.2 and I can see the change um, or... Um, Sometimes what I'll do is if the modeling shows like the optimal capacitance is um, 10 microfarads, then I'll put like a five in and then I can just um, do other caps parallel adding to the capacitance um, to go up to the, the target value. And then I can go above and below easily that way as well. Um, and I'm not saying I do all my modeling and crossover design this way, but um, it, it can be done. You could also choose like you could put a, a, a big resistor in and then and then parallel across that to get lower values or you can even set it up with alligator clips to easily do um you know in series as well um so let me just do a quick de uh, real-time demo um so jeff and i are currently working on <clears throat> uh the helios crossover and he just messaged me right over here you guys couldn't see it but uh once i'm done with this video we're gonna do some more measurements um so I haven't really posted much about the Helios. Jeff did the introduction and um, I try not to spill the beans too much, but that is a Satori Brilliant tweeter and a waveguide there. That's all you're gonna see for now. But um, hey, you'll be hearing it, so that's cool. All right, so this is my uh, crossover test board. It's nothing fancy. Um, this is what I like to use and it works well for me. But you can see I have various components um, in in a circuit, and I use the different uh, uh, clamps to um, build the circuit and hold parts in place. But I also have alligator clips, so this is a resistor that I can easily swap out. And um, the trick that I was talking about with capacitors is, see, I've got a 6.2 microfarad here, but I can put another cap across it and add to the capacitance. And so I'll, I'll do that demo for you guys. And I can I can take capacitors and, and short them all across all the different points. And then here I have two inductors that are creating uh, two millihenries. But if I just simply short across one of them, I'm down to 1.5. And so I'll also show you the demo of that. Um, so I'm just going to turn on I've got Omni mic over here. I'm just going to uh, turn it on. And um, you guys will probably be able to hear the changes, but you'll see it on the screen. So let's see how that goes. Just get this set up so you guys can. All right. So OmniMic is actually on right now. And uh, let me turn on the CD. For the short uh, sign sweep. All right. So here you can see we're basically... We have a previous measurement that's been saved, and then now uh, OmniMic is reading over that. The blue line is the new measurement. So I'm just going to make some changes, and then uh, you can see them on the screen.
So here I've shorted a capacitor across that 6.8 and I've shorted a 4.7 across the 6.8. So you can see the change. So that's just changing the capacitance changes the response and I can just see it in real time. All right, so now I'm going to remove the jumper from that inductor to create a 2.0 from a 1.5, and you'll see the effect. So that's with a 2.0 millihenry, 1.5 millihenry. So here I've added some capacitance to a 25 microfarad uh, parallel component in the circuit. And I've added 4.7 to it, and now I'm removing it. And I just added it back. So anyways, that's, uh, that's the demo, and that's what I wanted to uh, show you guys. Many of you guys probably already know about that, but if you don't, uh, it's a cool way to use OmniMic, and I thought it would be an interesting, quick little video. All right, so yeah, here's the Gintani, by the way. Let's see if I can make this a little brighter. There we go. Really happy with the way they turned out. They're not 100% finished. The feet I haven't uh, completed yet, but they're being made right now. And I'll post more about it. You can see how that curve turned out there. And the veneer. Really like how the cabinet turned out. The port flare. Uh, WO24 Satori MR15. And the TW29 Soft Dome. Great tweeter, great mid, great woofer. So, all right, guys, thanks for following on. Stay tuned.